While India's Jammu and Kashmir will vote in the final and the third phase of the assembly elections on October 1st uh, to seal the fate of 415 candidates across 40 seats, this is the first assembly election in Jammu and Kashmir in a decade with the results set to be announced on October 8th. Now, the third phase of the elections will be held across 40 assembly seats in seven districts, which include Jammu, Udhampur, Samba, Kathua, Baramulla, Badipur and Kupwara. Around 3.92 million voters are eligible to exercise their franchise at over 5,000 polling stations. In Kashmir Division, 16 assembly constituencies will be going to polls, while as in Jammu, 24 assembly constituencies will be going to polls. The voter turnout was 61.38% in the first phase on September 18th and 57.31% in the second phase on September 26th. The campaigning for the last phase of JNK elections uh, ended on Sunday evening with the major political parties including the BJP, the Congress, the National Conference, the PDP engaging in fierce exchanges over critical issues including terrorism, Pakistan, Article 370 reservation among others. Meanwhile, security has been tightened ahead of the third phase of elections to eliminate any threat of terror. Now, according to reports, terrorists exchanged fire with police in one of the pole bound districts, Kathua. Uh, one Jammu and Kashmir head constable was killed while two officers sustained injuries. A massive cordon and search operation is underway for the third day in the area to nab the terrorists. All right, so as you can see, this is the third and final phase of elections in Jammu and Kashmir, which have been more or less uh, without any terror activity. Of course, the last phase seeing a little bit of that uh, hiccup in one of uh, the areas in Kathua where there was an encounter that took place. But voter turnout has been significant, over 50% in the last two phases. Um, and. Uh, most of the national parties, like the main national parties, that is the BJP and the Congress, are in the fray along with uh, the state, the Union Territory, uh, erstwhile states, uh, major parties such as uh, the PDP and the National Conference, which are also in the fray. And for the very latest on this, our special correspondent Idris Sloan is joining us now from Srinagar for the final phase of polling in uh, the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir. And in this uh, particular phase, uh, Idris, what we're seeing is several of those areas that have seen a rise of militancy once again are going to polls. Uh, what are some of the major issues and concerns in these constituencies? Well, absolutely. Uh, we've seen uh, the number of attacks and ambushes taking place, especially in the Jammu region where uh, the election is going to take place. Jammu will have around 24 assembly constituencies going to polls tomorrow, while as in Kashmir also, uh, all the 14 seats that go to poll are in the northern part of Kashmir region, which is very close to the line of control. Uh, the districts like Baramulla, uh, Kupara, Handwara and Bandipora all have the line of control uh, at the end of uh, these districts, as well as in Jammu as well. Uh, we've seen the number of ambushes and attacks taking place in the last six months have risen uh, uh, very high. Uh, the uh, Jammu and Kashmir police had already said there are, there are around 100 to 120 uh, foreign militants active in the forest ranges of uh, Rajori, Punch, Kutwa, Belt. Uh, and tomorrow is going to be a big day for the security agencies as well, especially in uh, Jammu region, uh, where security already has been put on high alert. There is a three-tier security system in place uh, around and uh, next to every polling station. There are 30 polling stations, uh, which are called critical polling stations, which are very close uh, to the line of control and international border, where the security has been manned up, as well as uh, if we talk about the technology, the latest technology, uh, there are drones, there are CCTV cameras that have been fitted at every polling booth in these areas so that the agencies could monitor uh, all the action that is taking place uh, while the voting is on. 
If we talk about North Kashmir also, Baramulla as well as uh, Kupwara, we've seen some ceasefire violations as well as some infiltration bids taking place in the last few months. And after that, security was put on high alert, high alert uh, just after the announcement of the elections in Jammu and Kashmir. And today, uh, tomorrow is definitely going to be a litmus test for the security agencies. Uh, but as far as the parliamentary elections that uh, happened recently across Jammu and Kashmir as well, uh, we saw a huge number of people, especially in North Kashmir, uh, coming out in major, uh, coming out uh, in big numbers and casting their vote, and that's exactly what is expected tomorrow as well. Uh, if we talk about the political leaders that are in the fray tomorrow, uh, the big names include Sajjad right. Ghani Loan, uh, Muzaffar Hussain Big, uh, 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 sorry, a uh, few more names from the Congress like Tara Chen and uh, Raman Balla. Uh, so uh, there are few candidates in Jammu as well as in North Kashmir which uh, we'll have to uh, look at. But the most interesting seat remains of the engineer Rashid's party because he was allowed to uh, come out of uh, the uh, you know, Tihar jail and campaign for his uh, Awami Idhad party. And he has fielded many candidates in North Kashmir which are going to be a tough competition not only for Sajjad Ghani Loan but also for the National Conference as well as the PDP. Right, absolutely. Idris, thanks very much indeed for joining us for the very latest there. We will keep coming back to you for more. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.